I'm thinking this creationist video might be a Poe, but I'm uncertain. Did you know that we used to be fish millions of years ago? What the? The statement, we used to be fish millions of years ago, is a straw man. It seems to imply that we as humans were consciously fish millions of years ago. In fact, overwhelming fossil evidence calibrating studies of comparative morphology show that the common ancestor of all vertebrates, not just humans, was indeed a primitive fish. It's true. Your lungs used to be fish gills. Have you been smoking heroin? Your lungs used to be fish gills is, is, is an even bigger straw man. It's not even true. In fact, lungs are analogous to fish swim bladders, not gills. This was known since Darwin's time. The embryonic stage of vertebrates, including man, starts out with gills, but we lose the gills during development as a fetus. As creatures evolve, some organs may become useful for other functions than their original purpose. Our friendly sea-dwelling ancestors emerged from the ocean and grew legs so that you could walk. How dare you question evolution? Our sea-dwelling ancestors grew legs so you could walk? What? This seems to imply that individual sea-dwelling ancestors decided to grow legs with us in mind? This is another straw man. It is a fact, not a theory. Evolution is both a fact and a theory. In science, a theory is defined differently than it is in popular usage. A scientific theory is a coherent group of general propositions used as principles of explanation for a class of phenomena. The statement, evolution is dead, Jesus lives, has at least two crucial problems. It presents a false dichotomy and a category error. Evolution is a scientific principle, and Jesus is a religious figure. Science and religion are two separate magisteria. Any Muslim creationist could say evolution is dead, Muhammad lives. There are many Christians who accept evolution, so to them evolution doesn't have to be dead for Jesus to live.